going across the lake to, this, to the other side to this other country. Now, in that country, there is this man who's possessed. Here I am. Hi, Mr. Wolf. Well, you can help me if I mess up. I can just barely hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Well, happy Veterans Day. Thank you. Yeah, did I've you have a good lunch? Free breakfast and free haircut. Oh my gosh, free breakfast and free haircut. Yeah. <laughs> well, they do free oil changes down in Indy. A buddy of mine's doing those right now. Oh, well, I don't have that anymore. Well, I I really appreciate you uh, scheduling a time on Saturday to uh, to talk and do an interview. Um, I guess, uh, are you going to press your... Uh, jersey and make sure you're looking dapper no, I'm, all, I'm gonna look the same <laughs> well uh yeah happy veterans day i look forward to seeing you on saturday and uh just to enjoy the rest of your afternoon oh i hope so i i just came back from getting a chiropractic treatment i feel pretty good right now oh wow that's great uh, so, uh, did you call any friends? Do you have any other, um, friends in your circle that you, you usually call on, on November 11? Actually, I don't. Okay. <laughs> the, as far as I know, they're all deceased. Okay. Well, appreciate you. We'll see you on Saturday. Okay. I'll be ready. Okay. Goodbye. I guess I will be. Oh, you will. We'll see you. Okay, thank you for calling. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, come in, come in. Hi, Hi, sir. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi. This is Merrick, and I'm Jason again. I saw you on Halloween. Yeah, you did. So, uh, you stay comfortable. We got plenty of setup to do. Uh, oh, yeah. Merrick. Yeah. Pretty good eight minutes of the... Mm-hmm. Uh... One of my the heck, I should have a big long line of pictures here, but they're gone. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what happened to them. These are all That's the things I, I flew during the war. And I don't have all your stuff back up from your party. Oh, <laughs> all I right. I had time. I, I flew the Martin B twenty six during the war, but actually. Flight school and then for the next 25 years, I mm-hmm. do all that other stuff. So here's the B-26. Yeah, there's a, there's a bigger one over here. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so what do we have over here? Your... Oh, some awards and stuff. Yeah, I see that. Before I retired, I won another air medal. For... Okay. I was flying the B-47. We checked all the instruments and everything looked okay and we were climbing out and by the time we got to 20,000 feet I heard a big bang. We put the overwing lights on and found out that our number six engine, the one way out by the wingtip, was gone. It had, <laughs> it had blew up and fell off in the ocean. Oh no. <laughs> and they said, oh well, that's all right, you can go on and fly with five of them. And I said, you don't understand. I didn't just lose it. I lost it completely. It's gone off the airplane. <laughs> so they said, oh, that's different. It was designed to be landed at a gross weight of 125,000 pounds. No more than that. Here, we had just taken off weighing 221,000 pounds. <laughs> so we're a long ways from being able to go back and land going around and around, burning off fuel to get down to where we can land. And I look out on the left side, just normally looking around to, to make sure things are going all right, and I see sparks coming out of my number one engine. Oh, no. <laughs> it's about to blow up. <laughs> but uh, that meant we didn't have any AC power left in the airplane because the two... Those two engines were the ones that provided AC power for our, our radar and mm-hmm. our some instruments, but uh, uh, they also gave us power for our radios. Now mm-hmm. I can't even talk to anybody because all my AC power is gone. I have no radios. Mm-hmm. So, 
We're still to way too heavy to land. We're still something like 50,000 pounds too heavy. Finally, it starts raining and I decide that's enough of this crap. We're going to land this damn thing one way or another. <laughs> so I flew back to the base and flashed my landing lights, which we still had. And they gave me a green light to go ahead and land. They don't know how heavy I am. Mm. And I can't tell them. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have no radio. So, uh, I did make the landing, and, and my co pilot, I told my co pilot, help me on the brakes when we land you, because they're going to go into override and they're going to release. And uh, we had a pretty good system that if you over pressed the brakes, they'd relax. So mm. you couldn't be skidding any tires. But it, it would relax, but I had to have help hold them down. So we finally got it stopped on the overrun. We ran off the runway and we had about a, oh, about 1,500 feet of asphalt on beyond our runway that mm -hmm. we could use. And we were out on that when we finally got it stopped <laughs> before the airplane ran into the fence. Wow. So you so used all the extra. they gave me the air, the air metal for it. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah. Because that, nobody that's... has ever landed that airplane so doggone heavy before. It wow. weighed something like uh, 160,000 pounds, I think. We were we were more than 40,000 pounds overweight when we landed. So that was uh, an experience that nobody had ever had before. Yeah. Actually, I I'd, I'd flown that airplane for eight years, never had lost an engine. <laughs> and that was the time you did. It wasn't that I lose two of them. <laughs> 1961. 61? Yep. I don't, well, that's, I don't remember that date. I just remember the incident. How could you forget? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one to forget. Because we weren't sure when we were going to land that we'd ever stop the airplane before it hit the fence. Less than a year before that. Uh, a young man took off and lost that number six engine, and the airplane rolled over and he crashed on our golf course. Oh no! <laughs> so we had a nice place to play golf when when we weren't on duty. Until that guy landed, crashed on it and tore up a whole bunch of it. <laughs> it was still torn up when I left a couple of years later. Wow. Well.